640. Okay, what's on my mind is uh, one thing that's going to have to get cleared up one of these days is that Jesus is not God. Religion has twisted that one. Because <laughs> uh, I guess they can't, that they know Jesus was our example and they're all having trouble being as good as Jesus was, so they just say, well, well, he was God, so we can't be that good. So it gives them a skate and out, you know. But the most clear thing in there I can is when Jesus turns to his disciples and says, Who do you say I am? And they go, You're the Christ, you're the Son of God. Not God, the Son of God. And Jesus said, ding, 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 you win, you win, right. My father has told you this. Not, not I told myself that, or his father. He's trying to tell he is his father's son. They're two separate beings. God is God. Jesus is Jesus. Every single person that has seen God and Jesus in heaven saw him as Two separate beings. Jesse Duplantis, uh, Sink Cat Kerr. Yeah. Uh, many, many, many people have seen Jesus and God in heaven through either being able to leave their body and travel or uh, through near death experience. Uh, it's just so stupid. These religious types, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord told me. Biblically, being biblically correct, the Lord is God, but Jesus is Lord, okay? He's Lord because his Father is God. So in the ranking, he's what you would call a Lord. But the Lord, biblically speaking, is God. And here's another scripture they always jump on. And I don't know, I think it was in Genesis. It's, uh, I don't know if I can quote it or not. It's, uh, and it's, uh, in the beginning, <clears throat> there was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then it goes on to indicate that Jesus is the Word. Okay, somewhere, I don't know. But anyway, so everybody thinks since he's known as the Word, that he's God. No, no. No, no. It's a figure of speech. What it is, <clears throat> Moses was probably considered the Word. Paul was probably considered the Word. There's probably people on the earth right now who are considered that level, which would you'd call them the Word, because when they spoke, you know, you're pretty much listening to, to the Word. So it's, it's just Jesus, yeah, he was, he was the Word, but others were the Word as well. And uh, just so dumb to hear these people to this day thinking Jesus is God. What a stupid, how stupid. The God baby. Well, who's running heaven while G uh, God was uh, masquerading as a baby? It's just stupid. <sighs> Makes no, no sense at all. I think you can still get the book, Jesus Christ is Not God, by Dr. Victor Paul Werwell. Jesus Christ is not God. And that handles every single scripture in the Bible that could be misconstrued into thinking he was God. It doesn't make any sense. That's a case of overthinking shit. Uh, he was a son of God. Not God. If he was God, he couldn't have won back for mankind what Adam had lost because Adam was a man, not God. And Jesus came to win back what Adam, the man, lost. And so Jesus had to be a man. And Adam would have had pure blood. And so 
to equal the playing field, Jesus would have had, the Son of God would have had to have pure blood. And that's why it was necessary to have the Immaculate Conception. So the father of the baby would, would be God. And all the blood in the baby comes from the father uh, all across humanity. And the father's blood does not mix with the child's blood. Every child today is born, the blood in them has nothing to do with the mother. I believe only the mother adds to genetics and stuff like that. But the blood is strictly of the father of the baby. And that's why immaculate conception was necessary. That's why Jesus was necessary because there was no pure blooded people. God had to make one. And uh, it said uh, Satan would have never killed Jesus if, had he known what was gonna happen. Because when Jesus gave up his life, <clears throat> Uh, somehow in the spirit world that equals winning the authority of the planet back and then anyone who gets born again Romans 10 9 and 10 uh, just uh, confess with your mouth that G Jesus is Lord that means just say out loud you think God had a human son because that would be Lord it's pretty simple and then the second part is believe in your heart God raised him from the dead well that's, that's pretty easy and you don't even have to say that out loud, just believe it. And you're saved, that's it. And then, what Jesus won back that Adam had lost is now yours. You come, uh, automatically there's nine superpowers that are given to you. Automatically, when you get born again, those are automatically, they're not, they're not gifts, they don't have to be given to you. There's one gift. When you get born again, you get the gift of Holy Spirit, and it comes with nine manifestations speaking in tongues speaking in tongues with interpretation prophecy hey uh, holly uh, word of knowledge word of wisdom discerning of spirits three six uh, faith miracles and gifts of healings turkeys you hear those turkeys we saw them we saw them few weeks ago, didn't we, Ollie? I did. You didn't. I don't think. Well, you might have seen. Cooper! So, you might want to change your speech pattern when you say, the Lord. Are you talking about God? Or are you talking about Jesus? If you're talking about Jesus, don't call him the Lord. Just, and I'm sure Jesus is not his name either. But everybody knows who you're talking to about, and even Jesus knows. So, <sighs> there you go, buddy. Boop. Cooper. Coop. Listening for this jingle. Coop. yelling for him this morning earlier he was just standing there I turned around and saw him about 15 feet away just standing there staring at me instead of coming he was staring at me anyway so if you're not born again it would be a good idea just in case you need that in the future. You know, you t they tell you where you put away gasoline and food and water and provisions and stuff. Well, getting born again would probably be pretty smart provision to put away. You know, just in case, it's true. Okay? Where's Cooper at? Coop! Cooper! Where's Cooper at? Did the turkeys get him? Cooper! Where's Cooper at, Ollie? Uh. Cooper! Cooper! Cooper!
Trapper! Fucking years. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Cooper. Coop. Cooper. Cooper. Keep breathing. <laughs> <laughs>